Thank you guys. Are you having fun? No, thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. If you've been in the city of Philadelphia or at Lincoln Financial Field to watch the Eagles, you've probably seen this green food truck. If you've had the pleasure of visiting the truck, you may have also noticed that they prepare a great menu. The staff is welcoming and all the food is free. So you ask, what's the catch? We hear a lot when we pull up at places, uh, what's the catch? You know, why is it free? What's, what's the, there's, some, there's an underlying thing here and, and it, there's not. No catch. Just a dream between the AO1 Foundation and Connect Church that's nine years in the making. You know, I formed a really good relationship with a pastor at Connect Church and Kyle Horner. Uh, we became really close friends and, and he's kind of been a mentor to me. Um, he's actually had a vision of a food truck in, in the area for, I think he said eight or nine years now. And he was telling me about his vision and uh, I was just like, well, shoot, we got the foundation. Like, let's see where this thing goes and maybe we can uh, kind of come together and bring this to be real life. When AO1 got on board, it just, it sparked something. And so we saw the vision and the provision come together. I always think that's the way that God works. God always works, you know, in divine partnerships. We can do more together than we can do apart. And together they set out to bring to fruition their lofty idea. You'll have a light here and you'll have a light back here and they started shooting this way 30 feet. When we started building the truck out, it was honestly a little bit overwhelming. There's so many options, so many things you can do to build this thing out and make it as custom as possible for what you're doing. So we kept thinking, you know, what can we do, mass quantities up and be versatile. Literally, it was probably eight to 10 weeks and, you know, continually going down there. It was built from the ground up. The truck was there, but everything was welded inside, um, custom wired. Everything was completely custom inside out. So we were so lucky that they were able to prioritize this to get it ready for launch at the end of August. As they went through the process of building the truck, they set out to find the perfect name. As fate would have it, they found it after returning from a mission trip to Haiti. The name was fun. Um, it, we had a, we had a, a group uh, thread uh, for, for, for a while. It was actually on our trip coming back from Haiti. Carson took a different flight than we took. This name, Thy Kingdom Crumb, just kind of sparked inside of him. And immediately when he texted out, it just hit the chord uh, uh, in everyone's heart. And it was just, it was the right thing. It was, it added fun because we don't want this to be overly serious, but we, we certainly wanted to also carry the message that it refers back to. This is part of God's love and plan. It's pretty amazing, I think, when you get a chance to see a vision that's been in your heart and in your head, not only just come out on paper, but then really put together in real life. When we saw the truck for the first time, man, we were like kids in a candy store. It was so cool. This is amazing. Come on. Come on. It was super cool. It kind of got goosebumps knowing what it was going to do, uh, how it was going to bring joy um, physically and spiritually to the, to the city and really the surrounding area. And then just all of the, the planning and all the steps that came uh, before that finally culminated into that truck. We're just like, this thing is awesome. With a name in place and the food truck completed, Pastor Kyle, Carson Wentz, and Zach Wentz got a chance to see the fruits of their labor. For everything that you've done and all that's yet to come, in yes, Jesus' God. name, amen. amen. I love you guys, let's go fun tonight. It was now time to feed people in need, but the classic definition of need wasn't the only thing on their minds. They saw need in places few even bothered to look. It will definitely feed those that are hungry, feed those that are in poverty, but we didn't want to limit it to that. We didn't want it to be just about those in physical need because we believe everyone's in need of, of feeling loved and feeling valued. And that's where just anybody, whether that's the, the single mom getting off of late night work, your college kids on a campus uh, during finals week, uh, whether they're in poverty or in, in, in rich uh, circumstances, uh, God can just bless them and meet them where they are. Hot one. There you go, bro. Yeah. God bless you, man. Those behind the scenes aren't just the volunteers who make Thy Kingdom Crumb run. It's also those who donate their food and money. The food truck itself is made possible with two things. So with financial contributions to the AO1 Foundation, through all the work we've done, the money we've been able to fundraise, product-wise, food-wise, we've been blessed with so many partners who have come alongside. So we're going to continually look to do that just because I think people want to be associated and give back in their community and tangibly see it. So, yeah, you bet. Thank you. Sandwich? There you go, sweetheart. You're welcome. 
The beautiful thing about TKC is we have teams and teams of people who are behind the scenes that people never see. We have teams that arrive here at 6 a.m. in the morning from the preparation of the food to be down there at the stadium early to set up for the people. We have people on the truck who are just cooking and serving the whole time. We've got teams of people who are just talking to the crowds of people about their life and praying for them, encouraging them. And so, you know, for all of the, the people that you get to see on these videos, there are a uh, hundred other people that you don't see behind the scenes that are really the true champions who really make it happen. As for the future of Thy Kingdom Crumb, it looks promising. Thy Kingdom Crumb isn't about just launching a food truck. It's actually about um, hoping to launch a movement. Our vision is to have multiple of these in multiple cities. And in order to do that, we need to get this thing operating efficiently and smoothly here so that we have a handbook or a model to hand off with other local communities. We've literally set out to do that from how we've designed things to putting just standard operating procedures together so that we can give to someone else what, uh, what we didn't have. We didn't have blueprint. No, no one's doing this anywhere. There's so much negativity going on today and we want to be able to offer people hope. We want them to feel loved. You know, when they see that truck and they see what it's all about, we want them to feel loved and feel valued. So that's the whole kind of initiative behind it in the sense of it's not just a physical blessing, it's a spiritual blessing. It's just an uplifting environment that uh, can just change people's perspective on, on others, on community, on, on a relationship with Christ, and uh, it can just really change lives, we believe, for the better.